What's going on everybody and welcome back to my gradient mesh tutorial where we draw this face as realistic as possible. Last episode I left off finishing the framework of the geometry of the mesh in the mouth, in the teeth, behind the front teeth, inside the lips. Anyway, we're going to color it in now because I pretty much let me reveal these teeth and then turn off the light, um, the outline mode so you can see where we're at. But that's pretty much what we're about to fill in right there, that piece. So, without further ado. Without further ado, let me color it in. We're gonna take our direct selection tool with A on the keyboard. Then we're gonna hit I on the keyboard to bring up our eyedropper tool. And now when we hit the control key, we are now bouncing back and forth between the eyedropper and the direct selection tool. And that's gonna make this process extremely easy and faster. So let me turn back to outline mode by holding down the control key and clicking this eyeball right here on the layer we're working on. And we're gonna color this thing up. All right, so for all these points that are gonna be under the teeth, I'm just gonna do it one uniform color for the most part of the closest shade near all these lines. So like for these lines, I'm gonna color about, you know, this color. Same goes for the most of these. Just follow all the way down, select there. You can probably group select these two. So that's our teeth right now, looking pretty good, I'd say. I mean, I like the way that looks from here. Just gonna keep finishing it up. And then what we're gonna do is before we actually do the lips, I'm just gonna do the highlights on the teeth to fix the little hole in the teeth. And then we could start um, doing the rest of the lips. So I'd see those teeth are looking pretty good. Look at that, that's what the mouth looks like with no lips right now. I mean, I'd say pretty accurate. Let me just fix that gap here. Let me unlock them because I have them locked so I can then move these points. Let me just, let me tuck this one in because this is going to sit behind. And that's looking much better. All right, so I'm just going to hide these guys. I'm actually, you know what, let me group. Let me group them all. Send them back as together. Let me save. And then let me hide them so I can draw these highlights. So I'm going to take my pencil tool. I'm going to feather these two. I have all these graphic styles from before. Um, maybe I don't. Well, I'm going to feather these anyway. I'm going to take my pencil tool and I'm going to just draw these highlights really quick and then add some feather um, to soften them up. And we'll see what it looks like from there. I don't really want to be too accurate with these shapes. They're really just... Um, it's very hard to depict the shape of these so I think the more freehand I am I think the better they'll look you know um, there isn't really much to identify other than the fact that it's just a small spot of light that looks kind of blurred from the background we have some serious progress down on this drawing it's making me feel so good all right, so the lips are gonna be a little complicated. Not overly complicated, don't freak out. But the first thing I'm gonna do 
is on these lips especially, what we want to do is we want to make sure we don't lose all this nice detail, like all these cracks and indents and shadows um, and topography on her lips. We have all these kind of lines, these crack lines. We have all these to um, different tones and hues and highlight shadows, everything. All these shapes that are on this lips that are giving all this texture. Um, and it's very hard to capture texture with mesh, but we're going to do it with layering a lot of shapes and we're going to do the mesh a little bit differently. Not overly different, but just a little bit. But before we even get to the mesh, what I want to do is take some time in this episode to take um, the most important shapes on this lips and actually draw them out with my pen tool or pencil tool. You know, give them some fill and those are going to be my vector overlays, kind of like I did with the eyelashes, but for the lips. I need to add manually that detail on top almost that I'm gonna see regardless of mesh or not. Just for instance, these shapes, like these cracks in here, I'm gonna draw these with vector. I think they need to be there. I'm not gonna go up until the small, up into the small cracks though. You can see the difference in size between let's say this crack and then the rest of these. These cracks, this texture up here, I'm gonna do with gradient mesh and I'm not gonna be too accurate to the actual shapes of the lips. What I just wanna do with the mesh is be overly detailed to the point where it's picking up so much color variation in such a small area where it looks very detailed and harsh and textured. And in this case, that's gonna be favorable and what we wanna see rather than in the face where we wanna be a little bit smoother, like the nose where we wanna be smoother or just like the teeth where we wanna be smooth. In this case, we wanna be rough because if the lips look rough, if the lips look smooth, then scrap everything I'm saying because then we would wanna make the lips smooth. But we're trying to capture this as realistic as possible and in this case, I'm going to start with some vector overlay. So I'm going to take my pen tool by hitting P on the keyboard, and I'm going to just start drawing um, the more finer shapes that I see right away, such as this one. And now these shapes, the actual geometry of them is really up to you. They do not have to be nearly as perfect as the ones I am making, um, nor do you have to make every single one of them. If you feel like I'm drawing a shape that you might think may look ugly or out of place, that you know that that's fine you know you can not draw it you know what i mean this is your project this is your drawing i am simply an outlet of, of knowledge helpful thing about um the if you go to the pencil tool helpful thing is the smooth tool right it's right under it if you hold down the pencil like over here so i can draw my curves as i intend to with the pen tool and not necessarily worry too much about being perfect because then i could just take the curves i have and just give them a nice smooth out. And it, I think that tool is just wonderful. It just makes my life so much easier. I don't have to worry about any kinks in the in the lines because I draw my lines as I want them to look and then I just smoothen them out a little bit after. And it's just, it's really one of the better tools that they, I would say incorporated into Adobe Illustrator. I don't remember when they added that, but when I found it, it was a, um, it was a good day. Now I'm also gonna feather pretty much all of these shapes because I don't want really any of these hard pointy edges. I want it to be all soft and I want it to be all blurred from depth and you know, um, in real life we don't have any like super hard digitized edges like we see in Illustrator. We want everything to be pretty much smooth and um, coordinated with each other. All right, so you can kind of see what I'm trying to do um, before I even get into any type of gradient mesh on the lips. I'm drawing manually the details that I want to see. Yes, it's a lot. Yes, there are a lot of shapes, but yes, gradient mesh takes a long time and so does drawing realistically. For, so for a lot of these rounder shapes or shapes that have less identifiable edges, I typically try and do some curvy edges with the pencil tool and just be a little bit freehand with it. Um, again, I just like to be a little bit more organic with my drawing sometimes. Sometimes I like to be a little bit more harsh. It really depends on the detail I'm drawing. Something like this, I'm going to draw a little bit harsher.
All right, so that's pretty much all the fine detail. I want to draw maybe this last shape right here. I'll draw two um, on the top of the lips. And I'm going to move on to the bottom of the lips where the shapes are a little different. So I kind of want to identify what shapes I want to draw because these are going to be overlaid on top of the mesh. It's kind of, we're not necessarily going to blend them with the mesh, but they're going to be laying on top of these points where um, it's going to be very similarly colored. And we're going to maybe add some feathering and some op opacity to it where it'll look like it's part of it. Um, it's going to give a nice little touch and, you know, for someone who has really no actual background knowledge of digital drawing, um, they won't, they won't really know that I, you know, I drew these, um, eyelashes, you know, when they look at this quickly in one big, um, picture, you know, they're not really paying attention to them and we have yet to touch everything up, but those are just things to think about. Anyway, we're going to go continue to the bottom of the lips. When it comes to shapes on the lips, I'm going to draw a few highlights and a few shadows, and then I'm going to pretty much leave it. A lot of the shapes over here, I'm going to leave for the mesh, like all these little wrinkles here. Pretty much going to leave. Um, but for the most part, I think what I want to draw is this circular highlight separate from the mesh. I want to draw maybe these two indents here, these two cracks here, this one, this one, and a few of these highlights over here. And that's pretty much going to be my overlay. Um, maybe I'll draw a lot of these highlights across. Actually, I'll probably do that. All these like gleams, all these little light reflections probably going to do. That's going to give a nice little touch. So I'm just going to put my head down and start drawing these lines. Now I notice I'm drawing a lot of this with the pencil tool because a lot of these edges are really smooth and bubbly and kind of unidentifiable and I just feel like they would look a little better with the pencil tool. Also it's going to save me a little bit of time. Yeah, pencil tool for these shapes all the way. For the actual shadows I'm going to be using the pen tool though. Those are much sharper and definitely could be beneficial um, by getting drawn by the pen tool. All right, so those little highlights are all finished being drawn. I'm going to add feather to all of these things as well as opacity again to the top part too. I'm just getting them all drawn first. But I actually really like kind of the vibe of these shapes when you see them all together. I think they have a good, nice look. So let me go back here. Take my pen tool and let me draw some of these finer, sharper shadows here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some feathering and some opacity to these shapes because I think they're a little too, you know, they can't be that harsh and I don't want them to instantly be perceived as um, drawn lines. I kind of want them to blend a little bit. So let's go back to the face here and let's bring back our lips. Let's bring back our drawing. All right, so let's select all these shapes that we've made here. At least the highlights. Let me, I'm going to do the highlights separately from the other shapes. So yeah, I like that look. I think that's a good look. Let me go now do the shadows. Okay, I'm gonna group these just so I have them. I'm gonna apply the same feather. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna apply feather. Um, let me fix it. Let's do can we do 1.5 pixels? Is that possible? We can. Let's do that. 1.5 pixels. I think that looks good. Let's group these guys now. I 
Alright, so that's a little too much feather for right there. Let me go back to my feather. Is this actually, this is probably doing 4 pixels, let me see. Yeah. Let me go 1.5 pixels again. Yep, there we go. I really like that. See, like, if we can imagine that, very, um, it's very soft, you know, if we can imagine that, if we can imagine that on top of our finished lips, I think we have a beautiful look. I think that feather really added a nice touch. We might need to drop opacity in the future, but for now, I think I'm just going to leave everything as is. I'm going to select all of these, deselect the teeth highlights, I'm going to group these, and then... I'm pretty much going to start drawing the lips itself. I think I'm ready for that. I say a lot of things in this tutorial because everything just comes up last second, I feel like, when I'm looking at it. Yep, I'm pretty much ready to start drawing the lips. The only thing is, we're going to draw the lips. Yeah, you guessed it on the next episode of this tutorial. So thank you for making it this far. I've been a little bit of scatterbrain on these last two episodes, I feel like. Maybe, you know, because my editing, it doesn't seem like it, you know, but, uh... I'll step it up on the next one, guys. On the lips, it's going to be a better time. This is Mark Tomati. Stay tuned. You can find me on Instagram at MarkDarts. That's M-A-R-K-D underscore A-R-T-S. I really appreciate everybody listening to my voice on this mic while I draw. Thank you so much to everybody who sticks it out. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. It helps me. I am a very small channel, and I would love to spread the knowledge to the world. See you guys on the next one. Episode 30 coming for you.